name is Roger Ingebretson. I worked at Shell for a little over 32 years. I would have worked longer, but I was helping out in Long Beach uh, with a refinery reinstrumentation project and Tesoro bought them. So I uh, ended up uh, going with Tesoro after that because I was part of the deal. My uh, jobs at, uh, at Shell were many. Uh, I probably uh, folding in the first person that I uh, not only met but became quite close and fond to was my first uh, assignment at Shell. I was a process engineer for a catalytic reformer. And I'll never forget, I show up uh, at the refinery and I wasn't quite dressed at the time for what was expected, so my boss sent me home for three days to get the right clothes. That was interesting. And uh, when I finally showed up at the plant, uh, there was a gentleman named John Ryan who looked at me and said, oh boy, a new engineer, I'll, uh, I'll do what I can to keep you out of trouble, so if you listen to me, I'll, uh, I'll get you uh, get to the ropes and introduce you to everyone. And that really is what was Shell was all about. Very family oriented, uh, cared for the employees, uh, looked after us, everyone looked after each other, a lot of camaraderie, and uh, a lot of things that would, I would say, uh, would keep somebody engaged and very entertained with uh, their job. I mean, I had a lot of fun with the many different assignments I had. Uh, from after the process engineer, they sent me over to uh, work on a computer project, and I had no idea what that was. I did some of that in uh, college, but they figured, ah, you know, he, he knew a little bit of how to do computer work, so let's see what he'd do with this control project. First one we did in the refinery, and it ended up being a, a about a five-year assignment. And we ended up implementing computers all over what we call the light oil processing area. And of course that cascaded into other things. A later uh, assignment I did was we decided to, uh, what we called clean fuels, to put in a large area in the refinery called Operation Central. And I had the pleasure of uh, doing the projects uh, in that area and starting up a hydrogen plant and working with a whole bunch of uh, new people I hadn't seen before. And I'll tell you, that's the other thing that's very cool about Shell. A lot of investment in the operators and everyone in general. Uh, they want to make sure they know what they're doing and they do it well. And I'll tell you, the people in the hydrogen plant too that I was uh, starting up, by the time we were done, they were doing things that I would normally expect an engineer to do. And I got no calls at night when they were uh, starting up the plant. And my boss was like, how come you're not showing up? I said, they don't need me. Why would I show up? So uh, from there, uh, when Shell merged with Texaco, they sent me to Houston to uh, help put together the IT side for the refineries. I was like, I'm a lowly uh, technical manager at the time, why would you do that? Because uh, everyone I sat with were in the vice president, director level. But it turned out, it worked out okay. It was about a three and a half, four year assignment. And from there, when we uh, adopted uh, Bakersfield, we called it the Bay Area uh, Refinery, or the Bay Refining Company, uh, struggled back and forth between Bakersfield and Martinez. Ended up adding in Long Beach, and then from there, uh, when I was fixing up Long Beach, that's when they, Shell decided it was time to uh, take up the offer of Tesoro and, and uh, allow them to purchase uh, Long Beach. I, uh, I was allowed to retire from Shell. Yeah, I had full points and all that, so that was kind of an interesting arrangement and uh, very, very grateful uh, for Shell being flexible on that as well. Uh, bottom line to all that is, uh, what a company. I mean, very much looking after the people, very very much uh, working with you. I was a little bit of an oddball uh, as far as the uh, people go and how they think. Engineers are what they call very organized and very uh, structured. I'm not typically a structured type, so when I had some of the shell classes, uh, they had the people that were a particular type, and they're all over here, and then there was me on the other side, and they looked at me like, wow, you're still an engineer. But it turned out to be an asset, and Shell was very flexible, and used me to a great extent. Uh, we made it a wonderful, wonderful 32 years. Thank you, Roger. Thank you very much.